Hey everyone, mango 7 rule here. How we doing today? Welcome to another game that I've been playing and that is Cookie Run Kingdom. I'm actually in love with this game. It is so, so much fun. Um, I'm playing on Bluestacks right now, so I can't zoom in and out right. I don't have it set up here. I usually play on my phone, but super excited to share with this uh, with you because I'm just loving it. It's just so much fun. Um, it's been a while since like a gacha game has just been fun and not punishment, you know? <laughs> as bad as that sounds here. Um, so the starting and off point here, and this is something I personally love. Uh, I love it to death like this, but I know a lot of people don't. And that's the building aspect of it. Um, we've got my kingdom right now, my cookie kingdom. It's just like... Just so cool having having all your things here. And this is something I wish every gacha had. Like, you don't even have to make it so you have the building stuff, because I know everybody doesn't like that. But just, like, having your, your cookies or characters, whatever you want to call it, just roam around here is just kind of fun. Like, for example, we have a... I haven't really uh, cleaned this yet. We have uh, a swing set somewhere? I know I have a swing set. Is it hidden behind a building? Oh no. I wanna go on the spring swing. Okay, well, anyway, we can do stuff like my sea fairy here, who's apparently like the best unit in the game. Um, we can make her water some of these, and she gets all happy, and that makes me happy. Um, where's my swing set? Is it? Where is it? I know it's here. Okay. Oh, there it is! It's right here! Okay, so we can do stuff with, like, a swing set here. We can throw people on it. I don't know if everybody can go on the swing for some reason, but uh, we'll put my, my favorite cookie on the swing if I can find him. Oh, God. What a disaster so far. Where are you, King Custard? Uh, and the story in this game is actually really good, surprisingly. And uh, we'll put Strawberry Cookie there anyway. Um... How do I get her out? There we go. Come on! You get out of the way, too. So we can put her on there, and she just gets happy, and it makes me happy. Um, and just little things like that. There's tons of decorations. If we go to build here, we can see the decors. There's all these different setups you can do. Everything is kind of unique. Um, and... Yeah, it's really easy to set up too. Like if we click on here, we can just click through and build all the things and just hit the right arrow button um, and just build everything pretty easily. I wish there was like a one button press to redo what you did, but this isn't bad doing every now and then, you know? And uh... no, that's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. Let's show you a battle in a second, and I'll show you the cookies I am currently using. I'm not lying. This is amazingly fun and really well done. It's actually really high quality, has some of the best VAs in the business, surprisingly. And there's, like, anime cutscenes. There's voice acting. Um, there's all of the things. And obviously, it's a little... Uh, it's a little ridiculous at points with the premise of the game, but it's really well done, so it doesn't matter in my opinion here. Um, so there's a couple other things we can do here. There's my wish station where I can fulfill people's wishes. Um, there's a balloon here where I can send people out and uh, send them on a thing here. I have my main castle here. There's my wish station where I can accept free stuff. And then we have a, a train station as well where I can send stuff out here. And there's more to the world to explore. I'm gonna explore this in a second. I'm almost there. And, uh, yeah, let's do, let's do a battle. I have 390, uh, gems, jewels, or whatever you want to call it, away from a pull. So we're just gonna, uh, clear that a little bit. There's a bunch of different story places. And we'll go to the Tainted Forest here, which is where I am. And one cool thing I really like about, uh, the story is you can walk around. Like, you can actually walk around with your characters here. Um, you can interact with certain things like poison mushrooms, uh, poisonous mushroom cookie. I already did that. And one of the cool parts is we can go to things like the pomegranate village here. And it just has a little side area where story happens. And it just makes the story a lot better, you know? Um, it's really cool. And there's tons of them. They're all around. 
and uh, the music is great. Like, let me go to the Pilgrim's Path here, because I really like the music in this one. So if we go to, I believe, Pilgrim Village here, it's just got beautiful music and... Just a cool little area. And story happens in here. I kind of wish I could move around during this, but just having this when you're in the story just means a lot. Like, imagine an Epic 7 when you're going to uh, whatever town the fire people are from, Meldrick, and you actually get to go in and see the area. It's kind of like that. So, let's actually play the game. Sorry, I'm really excited about this game. I'm really mad at myself for not playing sooner. So, uh, let's go through some of the stages here. I do need to do three or four stages, so I might only show you one or two. Um, but... My cookie's here right now. My front line is Malice Spice Cookie. I have Sea Fairy Cookie in the middle. She's literally the best. She's the one that does the big blue things. And then we've got the Jinx looking cookie in the back. Uh, we have my Tiger Lily, which is the dragon one, or not the dragon, the tiger one that jumps in and stuns. And then we have our King Custard, who is amazing as well. Um, we also have artifacts on the right side. I forget what these are called. Um, I forget what these are called, but they do different things and you can set them up to be different things. I think they're called treasures. So one of them gives me 25% chance to gain extra coins. One of them gives me um, a crit rate boost. No, attack rate boost and crit rate boost for five seconds. And another one gives me more coins, basically. So I have two of them on for farming and one for power um, right now. And uh, my team kind of destroys right now. Sea Fairy does this huge AoE that... Oh, it like stuns everything and does infinity damage. So I'm gonna die here, unfortunately. Not die, but not get three stars, um, which is a little sad because three stars is more gems, you know? So we actually lost uh, a bunch of stars there. So I'm not gonna do that for now. We're gonna go to the dark world, which is kind of just like this, but um, a different way to farm stuff. We can go to dark and go to the land of little big dreams. Uh, we actually completed this one already, so we'll go to the next area. And let's do one of these. So this is a way to farm different cookies. We can get their tokens, I believe, and some other stuff. Honestly, I haven't figured this part out too much. I'm just kind of doing the stages, you know? So let's do that. Um, the other cool part, and this is obviously uh, different for each person, is there are a lot of packs in this game to buy that feel good to buy and are fun to buy, which is something I really like. It's not like spend $100 for this 10 pull or these 28 Mystic Summons. Spend $160 for these 28 Mystic Summons. They're actually really good value and there's a lot of packs so you can get small value packs that are actually good, which actually makes you feel better about your purchases, right? Um, and they definitely have already made like 30 bucks, 40 bucks off of me, but I feel like I've got more comparatively than I would have gotten E7 for like $500. Like, it, it feels really good to get packs that don't make you feel like crap. That's something I really appreciate in games like this. So, uh... Let me, let me farm the last of the gems off video really quickly here. And let's do a, um, what should we do here? Ah, we can click on store, not storage. We can click on cookies and show you my cookies right now. My sea fairy. See, listen to the voice. They're amazing. Ah! This, this one's one of my favorites too. Lilac cookie. So great. Custard Cookie the Third is amazing as well. They're so cool. And there are um, skills you level up. You level them up this way too. You can promote them for uh, tokens. And there are toppings, which are basically just equipment, right? There's five slots for equipment. Um, we can see the bonuses you get here equipped for two or equipped for five. Um, you can't actually see that because my head's in the way, but it is what it is. Uh, there's also a ton of different game modes. I haven't seen this one yet. Uh, there's also bounties, which are daily dungeons. There's arena as well, which has been kind of slaughtering me. Um, there's barely many people I can fight. So this person has Holly Barrow, uh, who is one of the legendaries or ancients in this game. One of like the, the super, super rare ones. Um, my uh, sea fairy is one tier under that. I 
I can't tell if I'm gonna win. But the cool part is my team has like so many stuns, right? Like my Gala Cookie's about to stun, and then my Sea Fairy stuns, and then after that, my uh, Tiger Lily jumps in and stuns as well. So pretty happy about my team so far. And uh, let's take a look at the events as well. So uh, in the events here, there's a ton of different things. And I really like this. Uh, we can go to Hollyberry Kingdom. This is just getting story mode completion. Uh, Tropical Island. This is what I'm trying to unlock right now. Uh, there's a tower, which is like a, a stage and stage and stage of harder battles and stuff like that. Um, there's more story mode. There's beacons, which I don't really understand, but we're going to light those. There's uh, guild stuff, there's level up stuff, there's cookies of darkness, which we'll complete there, that's the dark mode. There's building your castle bonuses, there's world adventure bonuses. Um, then there's like wishing a certain amount of times, there's beating an arena a certain amount of times, there's monthly gifts. And I can't wait to get espresso cookie, I love that design. There's arena season rewards, there's uh, all of the things, right? And right now there's an event for reward o -matic, which uh, I just bought a couple of these. Actually, I bought some other stuff to be able to 10 pull uh, since I wanted to make the video now and I wasn't ready. So these allow you to do a bunch of rolls and you can get a ton of different things here. We got a searing key, cool. Uh, and we want the key card to move on to the next one, but we'll also take the pulls here if it's great. And we'll also get Twizzly Gummy Cookie Soul Stone, which is the one that was kind of like Jinx from League of Legends with the <laughs> laughing sort of thing. So let's see if we never hit the key card. Okay, so we got a. Those are summons, basically. We'll do those in a second. 30,000 gold. We're never going to hit the key card. Nope, it's not happening. Hey, there we go. So we unlock the next round here. We can go on a version 5, and uh, we're kind of hoping we just hit the key card again. We're pretty good at this game. Uh, on to level 6. And this one we want to hit the epic, and this will help us promote her to another stage. So this one we don't want to hit the key card right away. We want to hit Twizzly Gummy. Uh, of course, we hit the key card right away. Um, so we're going to go back and uh, <laughs> get the Twizzly. We got more pulls too. The 500 or 300 would be great because that would allow me to uh, just do pulls right away here. More pulls. And that was my last one. Okay. And uh, there's so many other things. There's achievements here as well that give you gems. 200. So what are we at? We're at 29, 25 now. We're almost there. So we just need to do one stage. Um, and then the shop, we have some stuff here. Uh, this is showing dots because uh, I'm on a different device than usual. Let's just go do one more stage and then we will... Uh, and then we'll do a couple pulls and uh, go from there. I'm just really happy with this game. It's just fun. Just straight fun and it makes me happy. And the quality is insane. Like the the voice quality, the amount of like animations, the amount of decorations and stuff just makes me real happy, you know? Um, yeah. There's also uh, a collab with Sonic, which I missed, which is really sad. I really wish I uh, was here for that because Sonic is pretty cool. I think Tails was in the game too. I'm not really sure. And give me my... Give me my uh, gems. And Twizzly is free right now, by the way. You can get her for free. Uh, she's the one that I was just pulling for in the thingy, and you get a lot of those free. I did get a lot of those by pain, but you can also get them for free. I just pulled Pomegranate Cookie as well. That makes me really happy. Um, okay, so let's go to the gacha here. So we have two different separate things. We have the featured cookie right now, which is Mala Sauce Cookie. We have the regular cookie pulls, and then we have treasures. So... Treasures are those things on the right side I showed you, so we'll just do this really quick. And you can upgrade your things to make them better, um, which makes it so duplicates are actually pretty good. Cool, 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 cool. Do three more. And these, I imagine, you only do if you have the tickets or you're an Omega Whale. Um, so let's do three of these. And the animation is really cool here. I'm not going to show it for this. I'm going to show it for a 10 pull. 
Um, and you do get tokens as well, which do add up. It sucks to not always get main characters, but it's just kind of how it works for a lot of these games, you know? Um, I shouldn't be using these because I already have Malice Spice Cookie, but I guess if I get a dupe, that would be great. Uh, we just got a full onion cookie. Poisonous mushroom cookie. There's even a mango cookie, which is really cool. And he wraps. It's awesome. Okay, so let's do a pull here. There's also mileage where you can buy other tokens and stuff like that. Um, and let's hope we get lucky. So there's... Okay, there's three people. So that means there's a chance of a good stuff. There's a witch. Oh, okay. So I think that means we don't get anything. Um, usually her eyes sparkle if I get something really good. The general story is witches bake cookies and the cookies run away, by the way. So we got a soul stone. Got a rare cookie. That's a clover cookie. Wizard cookie, soul stone. Wizard cookie, again, that's a full wizard cookie. Ginger Brave is the main character. Actually a pretty good unit. Speaking of Ginger Brave, okay. What else do we have here? Gumball cookie. I'm sad I didn't get an epic from this one. The rates are actually not too great, I've found. Unless I've been unlucky, I'm not really sure. But, uh, yeah. I'm having a lot of fun. And you get a boatload of pulls. Like a boatload of boatload of pulls, even free to play. Um, yeah, so I'm having ridiculous amounts of fun right now. And I really think y'all should try it. So, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, everybody.